Good morning, second graders. My name is Miss Gates, and today I'm going to be reading The Night I Followed the Dog, illustrated and written by Nina Layden. Now, boys and girls, I have chosen to read this story to you because when I was your age, when I was a little girl, my dad would always read this story to me, and his favorite author was Nina Layden. So I hope you enjoy. And another fun fact, boys and girls, look, my dad had this book signed for me when I was little by the author herself. I have a dog, nothing exotic or special, just an ordinary dog. In fact, I always thought he was a boring dog. What I mean is he can fetch, roll over, shake hands, but mostly he just sleeps. I used to think that our next door neighbors had the best dogs in the world. Their dogs can sing and change the channels on the TV. Their dog always wins medals in obedience school. But I don't think their dog is so great now. Not since the night I followed my dog. Every night I let my dog out and he runs off into the darkness with his tail wagging. The next morning, I let him in, and he heads straight for the food bowl. But one morning, I knew something was funny when I opened the door a little bit earlier than usual, and I saw my dog jump out of a limousine wearing a tuxedo. Look at that dog. It's so funny. Before I could look twice, he disappeared into the backyard. I opened the kitchen door and whistled. When he came into the house, he was the same as he always is, hungry. I really wasn't sure that I believed what I had seen. So that night, I decided to follow him. I wore dark clothing so no one would see me. I left my bicycle near the door so I'd have it close by. When I let the dog out, I slipped out too. I took the garbage so he wouldn't suspect anything. The dog went straight to his doghouse. I saw a light go on on the inside. Slowly, I snuck around the backyard and peeked into the doghouse. This was not the doghouse I had helped build. Inside, there was a living room, a bathroom, and a huge closet full of fancy clothes. The dog in, was in the bathroom. He was wearing a tuxedo and fumbling with the bow tie. When he came out, he casually walked out of the dog house, across the yard and down the street. I grabbed my bicycle and followed him. Two blocks later, I saw a limousine pull over. The dog got in and the car took off. I started pedaling faster. The car headed across town. I thought I would lose them, but luckily they were stopped by a few lights. So boys and girls, where do you think the dog is going? After a while, I found myself in a part of town that I had never seen before. The buildings all seemed to be empty and it was very quiet. The limousine stopped. I hid and watched my dog get out. He disappeared into a building and the limousine pulled away. There was nothing on the outside of the building, just two brass fire hydrants on either side of the entrance. I opened the door at the neon sign that said, the dog house. I crept closer. It kind of looked like some kind of club. I decided to get a closer look. Now, boys and girls, do you think that the inside of this doghouse looks the same as the boys' doghouse at home? Why or why not? The moment I opened the door, two mean-looking bulldogs appeared and said, You can't come in here! I didn't know what to say, so I said, But, 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 but I saw my dog! I, I mean, I think my dog's in here! 
Just then, my dog walked over and said, It's okay, boys. He's with me. The bulldog said, Sure, boss. Whatever you say, boss. For a minute that seemed like forever, I waited. Then my dog said, I knew you would find out eventually. Well, now you know. This is my place. I looked around. Finally, I asked, what is this place? My dog said, this? This is a place where dogs come after a hard day. It's a place where we can relax. It's a place where we can talk about our problems with the mailman or the poodle next door. See all these sofas? We can sit on the sofas here. We can get treats without having to lie down, roll over, or play dead. And if we want to chew on a shoe or chase our tail, no one will stop us. We have no masters here, no leashes, and no rolled up newspapers. This, this is a place where dogs can be dogs. We sat down. A cocker spaniel came by and asked me if I would like a bowl of water or some biscuits. Little by little, dogs of all kinds started coming in. Some danced, some talked. They all looked at me a little funny, but when they saw who I was with, they smiled and shook my hand. Now, boys and girls, why do you think the other dogs were giving the boy funny looks? Hmm. At one point, my dog waved to an Afghan with the camera. She came over to our table and took a picture of us together. Being with my dog made me feel like a movie star. So, boys and girls, what do you think this dog does that makes him to be considered a movie star? I wonder. Just when I was starting to enjoy myself, I looked at my watch. I told my dog I had to leave or I'd get in trouble. He nodded. I think he was about to say something, but a glamorous greyhound grabbed his paw and whisked him onto the dance floor. As he was getting up, he tossed me the photo of the two of us. He then bowed slightly and disappeared into the crowd. It was way past my bedtime as I pedaled home into the cool night. I thought to myself, now I'm really going to be in the dog house. But then again, that might not be so bad. The end. So, boys and girls, what other things do you think the boy would have done with his dog if he kept following him? Hmm, let's think about that one. So the activity to follow up with this story, the night I followed the dog, I would create a writing prompt for my students with a picture attached so they would be able to draw their own image and then they would answer the prompt, which is, if you followed the dog with the boy, what would you have done after you saw where the dog went? So the students would have to ponder and think, hmm, what would I do if I was with the boy and I saw my dog leaving the house? Would you tell on the dog? Would you follow him? Would you ignore him? What would you do? Thank you for listening.